Hello and welcome everyone who are tuning in right now. And uh, hello to everyone who will watch this, um, this live interview later. I hope the technology will not fail us anymore and I hope everyone will be able to hear and see us on their screens. Okay, so um, my name is Ignaz. I am a communication specialist at study in Lithuania and I'm very excited today because we are starting something that study in Lithuania has not done before. And it's, uh, it's a series of live interviews with international students uh, streamed directly to you via our Facebook. Uh, these uh, series of, of interviews will be marked by the hashtag student stories. And uh, it will feature students who are either currently studying in Lithuania or have studied in Lithuania previously, international students. And we will try to do these kinds of interviews at least once, once a month. So um, everyone, I encourage you to keep your eyes open for the announcements on Facebook and also please follow us on Instagram. Uh, where we have been quite active uh, lately and we will continue to be active in the future. And today we have our first, very first guest, which I'm delighted to have here. I have heard many good things from the faculty of the university where he is studying at, and I would like to introduce you all to Yoshiyuki Miyasaka, or Yoshi, right, for short. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. great. Yoshi, Yoshi is Japanese and he has been living in Lithuania for several years now. Um, he's studying psychology at the LCC International University, a cozy liberal arts university in Klaipa, the city. And he's currently a senior. So hello, Yoshi, how are you? Hi, I'm great. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. I was a little nervous uh, about, the, yeah. about, about the technology, but I think we have everything working now. So I guess <laughs> my first question is please tell me more about yourself, uh, something that I haven't said in the introduction. Hmm. Well, so yeah, obviously I'm from Japan. And one thing I want to mention is that I actually studied a little bit in Japan at university. And then I actually dropped it out myself. And then I just moved to Lithuania to study, you know, change that uh, major, what I want to study. So that is what I can talk a lot more later, maybe. Sure. <laughs> I guess, tell me, um, how did you first find out about study opportunities in Lithuania? And why did you choose Lithuania out of all places mm. for your study abroad experience? Mm. Sure. Well, so first of all, I studied in Japan and then I realized it's something I'm, I was missing, like maybe I want to take education in English, not studying English, you know. So I just looking for, I was looking for some uh, higher education that I could take in English. And then I was looking for several countries in Europe, like Norway, uh, Germany, uh, Latvia, Lithuania, and several other countries. And then where, what kind of platforms I could just like um, find a suitable programs. Then I just found one a uh, good tool platform which is called study portals and then I just uh, kept looking for a lot of universities here in Europe because I love the like multicultural backgrounds in Europe and then you know everything is so different from like east to west to south to you know north in Europe so I was just uh, you know like uh, exploring so many places and then I I uh, just like a uh, Fund like several universities that I could afford for, you know, financially, mm -hmm. and then I found this LCC International University because it's suitable. Plus, it provides us with American, North American liberal arts university style. So that would be wonderful because, like, when you can learn something outside of a major, then you can gain a lot of more knowledge, which is beneficial, especially when you uh, get into society after graduation. Then you may want to know a lot more things than just your like speciality you know mm -hmm. so that would be very beneficial that i would thought so i specifically chose lcc after a lot of considerations about the universities how was the application process was it difficult um i've heard from from students that it could be quite confusing sometimes well when it comes to lcc it's very simple it's very straightforward 
you need to basically have English proficiency, proficiency like uh, results, then uh, high school diploma and uh, grades, and then additionally, depending on your country of origin, you need to submit some other like a uh, qualification. But um, afterwards, you need to just have an interview, in-person interview or online interview with faculty, um, you know, staff, and then it's very simple. It wouldn't take a lot of time. Just I got result about less than one month, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah, that was very helpful for me, especially I didn't have much time to just, you know, uh, apply for university because when I started application procedure, it was already March or April, I guess. So I was in rush, <laughs> but I made, made it. So <laughs> that was very simple. Mm -hmm. And um, what were your first impressions? Was being an international student everything you expected it to be or maybe not? Well, so uh, this could be a little bit long story again, but so I was in Norway actually after I studied in Japan and I took a uh, academic leave and then I attended an international summer school in Norway in Oslo. So from that perspective, after it came to Lithuania, I couldn't really like feel any difference between like, you know, um, being international student or being in Japan, just like, oh, this is where I want to study and I'm meant to be. So I just like convinced myself, okay, this is, you know, the best place that I can study. So as an international student, um, I guess like all the expectations were met already and then it's getting actually better like by now. So that's just great experience here. Mm -hmm. Um, for those who don't know, I guess I'll, I'm going to say that, that um, the LCC International University is not mm -hmm. located in the capital. It's located uh, kind of far from the capital in a city called Klaipeda, which is, um, it's, it's kind of small and cozy and it's very unique. Mm -hmm. It's the only Lithuanian port city. Um, yeah. I guess, how, how do you feel about living in a place that's uh, well, it's not the, you know, it's, 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 it's uh, a lot smaller, even though it's like a third uh, biggest city in Lithuania. Yeah. So basically, I'm not a city boy at all. I prefer like nature based place and Klepera is perfect because uh, the Baltic Sea is nearby. And, and then when you go, you know, take a walk, go for a walk and then you can get into forests very easily, very closely. So that's the best thing that I and study here in Klaipeda, even though that city is not really big. And, but still, you know, when you study, you wouldn't have like a lot of time to explore a city that much. So I guess it's also a good thing, you know, for international students, because you can concentrate on studying, but still you can engage in like student community or local communities. So it's just like very good balance between, you know, like hanging out, like having personal life and academic life. So mm -hmm. I think living in like relatively small cities, it's just great for students, I guess. So yeah, I don't complain about it. I agree, actually. I, I really like Leipada because of that balance uh, between nature and a yeah. city, you know, it's, it's, it's just mm -hmm. big enough um, to feel yeah not to feel like you're living in a village but it's you know it's it, it has as you said the sea is right there the the forests are there and uh i'm i'm from the capital from from vilnius mm -hmm. so i you yeah. know i but i really do enjoy Klaipeda. um how, how do you feel about uh, the study program that you chose did it did it do you think it met your expectations absolutely it did it did meet my expectations like fully because Okay, I wanted to be a teacher, first of all, but like uh, when I chose psychology after I changed my, you know, future career, I realized studying psychology at LC International University, like gives students so many different perspectives, like human lives, like it's even beyond, like you can apply knowledge and skills like that you can learn from like all the professors into your actual life, like what kind of uh, functions do you you know, like cognitive function, like linguistic function, like biological, social, cultural, traditional, historical, everything you can just learn, then you can just, you know, 
put in your practice. So it's just amazing. You are learning not only academic stuff, but also how to live as a person, you know, in, you know, coexistence with other humans, you know, in society, which is great. So all my expectations, you know, were met by learning psychology at LCC. Mm -hmm. um, now my question is, uh, Japan is very far from Lithuania, but I yeah. am told by many students actually, and, and, and just people in general, that the two cultures are similar in many ways. And I mm -hmm. wanted to know culturally, do you, do you find that to be true or maybe not? <laughs> well, uh, so I guess from my perspective, in my opinion, from my perspective, well, um, I guess from my eyes, Lithuanian people are a little bit um, shy and, and looks a little bit cold. And then I guess Japanese people seem like a little bit cold, like from, you know, foreigners perspective, because they are shy. They don't know how to speak English in many cases, so they just like tend to, you know, feel afraid in a way. So I kind of sensed that, and I felt pretty close to their mentality. I mean, when I learned like Lithuanian history and a cultural, you know, perspective backgrounds, then I understood why Lithuanian people's like mentality are a little bit different from Japanese people. But when it comes to my impression, like first impression, well, yeah, it's pretty similar and cultural. <laughs> sphere of similarity i guess like politeness because i found lithuanian people pretty polite to like strangers i guess not like really like too friendly but try to like keep distance appropriately and which i really appreciate i i just like have a very specific personal space so when i uh, uh, interact with local people in here in klaipeda i feel like okay yeah i can feel like you know appropriate like um you know, um, distance and which is great. Just respect each other no matter where you're from. So I just like that atmosphere and I find it pretty similar to Japanese culture, I guess. What do you like the most about Lithuania? Oh, well, food. <laughs> because Lithuania cuisines is, oh my goodness, that is wonderful. Like Tepeline and like uh, Kibinas. <laughs> Bolivine, Bolivine, a lot of more like potato based like uh, cuisines like foods but like oh my goodness that's so great especially f soups like Lithuania has different variety of foods and I wouldn't you know get never bored at all so <laughs> that's one of my favorite thing and I'm one of the best things about Lithuania I guess I have a lot of more things like um music it's I guess a little bit minor to talk about music, Lithuanian music, like because I'm pretty into classical music, and there's one famous uh, Lithuanian classical musician who is called I can I can't pronounce well, but uh, True Learnis. Yes. <laughs> his yeah, he's amazing. I just love, and I also visited his museum in uh, Kaunas, and he's also a great painter. And um, so I just love that culture, you know, so it's very colorful, you know, as a cultural perspective. So I'm so into it. So that's also one, one of my favorite things here in Lithuania. We keep talking about the positives. I'm going to ask you about the negatives. <laughs> I'm just going to announce one thing. Um, I see that we have a few questions um, okay. from viewers that, that are um, watching this, but they're asking, you know, how to apply and uh, what's the living cost and the job opportunities. I'm just going to announce that all of those things, everyone who's mm -hmm. been watching our, our talk, all of those answers you can find on our website, which is www.studyin.lt. And there you can find everything about the application procedures and the, the tuition fees. Um, job opportunities, so you can find a list of universities and a list of uh, 500 plus study programs uh, that foreign students can choose from. So everyone just browse the website and many of your questions will be answered. And now back to Yoshi, I'm gonna ask you this, what was or still is the hardest thing for you to face um, as an international student living abroad? Yeah. Well, obviously it's language barrier because I 
took one semester Lithuanian course, and I, I was pretty confident in speaking Lithuanian like during the first year. And then afterwards, like other courses became a little more intense and I had to focus more on, you know, my major courses. So, uh, you know, naturally my Lithuanian language level is like getting decreases. So that, that makes my life here in general a little bit more challenging because whenever I need to do something official, I couldn't like get what kind of things I have to say like formally. So I need a, like help from my like Lithuanian friends or you know office like uh, staff. So that is a challenge to be an international student abroad, I guess. And um, well, I also it depends on the person or you know person's personality or characteristics. But if um, you are not familiar with like a, sort of like a monocultural historical background country like you know and if the country doesn't really have like diverse uh, population like um, asian people black people or arab people then you would feel a little bit you know um, more nervous or kind of scared to you know be outside because people don't judge you people don't assault you at all just you know feel like oh you're so like you know rare unique so <laughs> that could be you know maybe negative side of like life in abroad as an international student i'd say right i guess uh sort of uh, sticking out is is you know it could it could make people nervous that's right um yeah. how about your studies um it's you're a senior now is are the studies difficult and don't tell me they're not <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult for sure indeed well um since English is not my native language and it took quite a long time for me to kind of master English and you know fully understand English so uh, during the first year of study in here in Lithuania I had a difficulty like uh, understanding difficult concepts like stuff in classroom but eventually you can get used to I got used to and of course um, class material levels also you know increase and uh, intense but you can just like improve a lot more by studying, by reading, by discussing with your friends, with your professors, then you can gain a lot more knowledge to discuss with, you know, more variety of vocabulary. So yeah, I guess time matters and you can definitely learn something very complicated, very difficult, which I can do right now <laughs> with still like, you know, challenges, some, you know, limitations of my understanding. But Definitely, it's possible, and yeah, even though it's difficult. Um, I asked you, uh, what did you like the most about Lithuania? I'm gonna ask you, what don't you like about Lithuania? And be open, you're not gonna offend me or anybody, but um, when it's not a perfect country, um, what, yeah. what don't you like about Lithuania? Mm, well, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, so quite a lot of people here in Lithuania are not used to seeing foreigners like Asian people or black people so sometimes I feel like okay people stare at me very <laughs> you know like harshly <laughs> so I feel a little bit uncomfortable and um, yeah as I said time matters you can get used to or people here can get used to it or even though none of us can you know you can get used to it still it's okay because you can learn something different like you know um, cultural atmosphere, you know, and how Lithuanian people perceive you and I myself perceive Lithuanian people both positively and negatively, which is great, which is a great life, like, you know, learning. So I would say it's a negative thing, but I sometimes feel, okay, what I, you know, Lithuania had a little more, you know, diverse populations, you know, along with me, <laughs> that'd be a lot easier to live here, you know, have a like international community, you know, so yeah, that's one thing, I guess. I guess that's that's what uh, we do here is is encourage more foreign students yeah. to, to come to Lithuania and to you know to experience higher education abroad here instead yeah. of instead of anywhere else. Um, we have one question from the audience, which is asking, mm -hmm. "Have you tried Japanese food in Lithuania?" Okay, <laughs> so this is a pure challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so during the first two years here in Lithuania, I couldn't get great Japanese food besides sushi. Uh, even though I feel like sushi here in Lithuania is still 
I'm not authentic, but I really enjoy eating sushi here in Lithuania because it's, you know, it's Lithuania version sushi and it's tasty anyway. So I love it. And then like from the third year of studying here in Lithuania, I found pretty good uh, restaurants in Klaipeda. <laughs> you know, so I guess you can explore and try out a lot of new different restaurants like local food, like, um, you know, shops and then just like compare and try explore you can find your own like favorite like national cuisine from your country of origin so it's not difficult anymore it was difficult but <laughs> i can eat quite a good quality of japanese food here so that's great um what are your plans in the future i mean you once you once you graduate um in lithuania mm -hmm. do you consider staying here or do you think you will go back to your country or maybe you have other plans yeah so my first plan is to study for master's program to get further education so i am still wondering which country i want to study and specifically i want to study clinical sexology or clinical psychology so i would like to be a uh, psychotherapist or a clinical um let's say just clinician for people with some mental you know problems issues in terms of like one's sexual orientation or gender so those like cultural social you know difficulty or challenges so that would be my you know uh the goal one of the goals so i guess uh in terms of country maybe outside of lithuania to study like master's program but i'm not considering to go back to japan maybe just temporarily stay there and enjoy my you know time with my family and the friends and maybe do some internship there as well but when it comes to studying father plus working i'd rather choose like um abroad maybe in europe somewhere yeah lithuania is also one of a consideration of mine so <laughs> i guess um my probably last question will be do you have any specific advice for other students who maybe are interested in studying abroad but think that uh, it's very expensive or, or difficult or they, they're not brave enough to leave home and travel across the world and live on their own when they're in their early 20s? Mm -hmm. I, I was an international student myself uh, before. Oh. And I, I know that it's, it's uh, you know, mentally it is challenging. And uh, what would be your advice for students like that? Mm. Well, so definitely you are not alone. You will have friends for sure. If you try to like, you know, uh, seek opportunities to engage, get engaged with other people, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes, um, you know, encouragement, but you're not alone. Just like when you go there, you can, um, meet a lot of different people from different countries, then those people also have some different maybe or same issues or problems. They can, you can share and then you can also, you know, explore with them. So just like share, experience, explore, you're not alone, even though you might end up in being alone, that's still okay. You can still like, you know, have your private life to, you know, uh, flourish your community, your own community, your own interests, and you can study a little more. So just take everything as possible as possible, even though it's difficult. And then if you need help, there is definitely a help, like maybe like a psychotherapist on campus or other you know, international community outside of school or in school. So just keep exploring. Just don't give up. It's okay. It takes time. It takes energy, but you're not alone. So everything starts from zero from scratch and that's how we humans just you know start our own lives so it's it's just fine <laughs> all right um well i hope that you know the rest of your studies in lithuania is successful and thank you, know, you. i hope you do very well i hope you either stay here or or come back to lithuania later in your life and um, yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I won't keep you for much longer. Um, I would really like to thank you once again, sincerely, for being our first guest in, in this uh, no problem. Student Stories uh, uh, interview series. 
and I would like to wish you all the best. And for, for our viewers and everyone who has been watching us or will watch us, I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, please follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. For more information about Lithuanian higher education, study opportunities, details on applying, uh, student success stories, uh, Lithuanian daily life, and, and much, much more. So, all right, I see, thank you, Yoshi. Have a good day and thank you. everybody uh, next time.